Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of your favorite podcast. Yes, favorite well, hopefully, one. hopefully it's your favorite podcast, <laughs> uh, Marriage Matters. So this is a podcast where we talk about uh, all things marriage. This yes. is uh, Marriage Matters because marriage matters, matters right? Yeah. So um, today we, I'm joined as always by my beautiful host, Miss Tanya Coleman. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. And, uh, you know, we, we're doing it again. You know, we're trying to stay consistent. Staying consistent. consistent. Intentionally consistent. Yes. And then, so hopefully um, you've been enjoying these. Um, keep the feedback coming, guys. We yeah. really love the feedback. Um, and, and, you know, like, share, all those things. We're just trying to get uh, this message out to as many people um, as, as possible. Um Coming up, stay tuned because over the next couple of weeks, we're going to have some of our uh, favorite couples on the show yes, with us. Yes, excited um, about so that. So we're excited about that. So, um, you know, because, um, and it's kind of like what, what, what we're going to talk about today. Um, we don't know everything. Mm -hmm. And even uh, when it comes to our relationship, we don't know everything. Yep. We're, we're trying, we're still, we're still trying to grow and, and, and bring this thing to perfection. Absolutely. Right? Um, and so um, these are some of the people um, that uh, we kind of follow on social media or just in life. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, how are you doing today? I'm awesome. I'm good. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, you want to just jump into it? Let's do it. Okay. So today I, I call this uh, this podcast, this episode, You Can't Fix What You Can't See. Mm -hmm. And the reason why, well, I don't want to get too far ahead of it, but I just want to tell you guys this story. Um, and it's funny the things you remember, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, there's a lot of things that happened over my 40 something years mm -hmm. on this, on this earth, but it's just like certain things. I don't know why you just certain things you remember. Sure. So I remember, uh, this one and, and it kind of, it kind of goes into what we're talking about today. Remember this one time we were, uh, when I was in high school, I was playing basketball in high school and we were playing this particular team. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, I was guarding uh, the point guard of this team, and this guy was super, super, super quick. I, he was just eating my lunch. I mean, I was doing everything I could to try to mm -hmm. stop him. And one of my friends was sitting in the in the stands, and I remember who it was. It was Corey Lamonia, Scooby. <laughs> Shout out to Corey Lamonia. He may not Lamonia. want you telling people <laughs> well, that. He don't, he don't mind. <laughs> anyway, he he hollers out. He's like, "Make him go to his left." He hollered that. He says some other stuff with what they call you, Papa. <laughs> he's like, make, he said, make him go to his left, Pop. And I was like, ah. Oh. So I did that. Mm -hmm. So I, I started guarding him to the right side and making him go to the left. And the reason why, because he couldn't really dribble well with his left hand. Mm -hmm. But I was so caught up in that situation. I mean, I knew that. I, I right. knew yeah, I should have been doing that anyway. But right. I was so caught up in the situation, I couldn't see all my options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's how we are in life sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Tanya, Tanya is a professionally trained counselor. That's what she does for a living. Mm -hmm. I am getting my certification in life coaching. Yes. So we've got all these tools and all of these things that we use when we're counseling people or when we're coaching people. And I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. when it's between us mm -hmm. or when it's with someone close to us, mm -hmm. a lot of times all of that training, all of that stuff goes out of the window because we are so emotionally mm -hmm. involved. We're so close. Mm -hmm. That's to, the word. Too close to the to the situation, and just like in that basketball game, it's the same thing in mm -hmm. life. A lot of times, you're so close to the situation, you're you're so heavily involved in it. Mm -hmm. It's hard for you to see all of the angles. It's hard for you to see all of the options, mm -hmm. and so that's, that's why good. it's so important in your life to have people in your life mm -hmm. who can speak into your life yeah. and speak to you about your life. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you're so close to it, you can't see right. all of the angles. Right. And I think sometimes, you know, even in marriage, depending on where you are, um, there are certain things that your spouse can say to you and you don't receive it, you don't respond to it because it's them. You know, and you feel like, you know, they have some 
ulterior motive or they're just trying to get their point across and that kind of thing. And it takes an outside person to give you some fresh perspective. And sometimes that person without even consulting our spouse can say the same thing to us. And it's just like, oh, mm -hmm. OK, you're right. That's what you know, that's what uh, my husband was trying to say. That's what my wife was trying to say. And I just didn't see it. But coming from someone on the outside looking in and they tell you the same thing, they're not as close to it. And yeah. so they may not get as emotional about it that your spouse may get about it because they're not close to it. They're not married to you, yeah. you know, and so the connection is different. And so they're able to see, I always say from a higher level, from a higher perspective, it's like anytime you're flying higher, you know, you can see more of the landscaping. Or, or just know? away from, like I was saying, like with my friend Corey, he was in the stands. Right. And he could see some things that I could see. You know, and I, I know a lot of times we talk down on, you know, you don't like the sideline coach or the, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the sofa coach, you know, right. when you're watching sports on TV, you know, everybody's, this is what you should have done. Right. And I know, you know, the, the argument is, well, you know, it's it's easy to say that on the sofa right. when you're not in the game, right. but there is some truth to the fact. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible even says that there's safety in the in yeah, a multitude of counselors. counselors. Yeah. Why? Why? Because sometimes you, you don't see all the angles. Right. And so, you know, um, there's, there's a tool that, you know, I learned about, um, and I just talk about that. It's it's uh, the Jahari window, and so in this Jahari window, and we'll put the graphic up. Um, there are four quadrants. There's the open quadrant. There's the blind, mm -hmm. the hidden, and the unknown. And so um, the the open quadrant that's what's known to you. Know these things. It may mm -hmm. be something about yourself, right. or a behavior, or, or the situation. You know it, and maybe your spouse knows it. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, there's the, the hidden quadrant where, uh, it's not known by others or it's not known by you either. So nobody knows this. Um, and then there's the unknown, uh, quadrant. Mm -hmm. Uh, but what I want to talk about today is that blind quadrant mm -hmm. where it's known by others, but it's not known by you. By you. Mm -hmm. Because I think for me, mm -hmm. that's the quadrant for me that. Um, can cause a lot of um, damage. Mm -hmm. Maybe not damage is the word, but maybe it's uh, cause strife mm -hmm. uh, in 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 relationships. Yeah, it's a blind spot. It's like when you're driving; it's a blind right. spot. And that yeah. was the example I was going to use. Oh wow! So okay. talk about. Didn't it. know that. Yeah, I was thinking. <laughs> but about it's that. kind of like you know when you're driving on the highway on the interstate, and I've had it happen to me. You know where. I am getting ready to merge over, you know, into say the right lane. And then I hear someone's horn, you mm -hmm. know, blowing. And I look and it's like, oh my God, there was a car right there, mm -hmm. but they were riding in my blind spot. And there's so much danger in mm -hmm. that. You know, if I, if they had not been aware of themselves and seen me getting over and blowing the horn, what could have happened going 65, 70 miles an hour? Yeah. You know, and, you know, here's the other thing about the blind spot is, when people, in that same example, when mm -hmm. people are riding in your blind spot and you move over, your intent is not to hit them. Not at all. That wasn't, so it, it's the same way in your relationships. Mm -hmm. When you don't know and you, the things that you don't know, the things that you can't see about mm -hmm. yourself, um, those are the ones that could, like I said earlier, can cause a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. And here's the, the the bad part about it is it not it may not even be your intention mm -hmm. to cause that damage, right. but you're causing the damage because it's it's blind. You don't know that it's there, mm -hmm. and other people can see it about you. Mm -hmm. So the other thing about um, the blind spot is you know typically you know in that in that traffic mm -hmm. uh, example. Uh, you know, when people blow at you, you know, my take is always, <laughs> my take is always, oh, what? You right. My bad. I right. did I almost hit right. you. My, you know. Right. But then there's the other side uh -huh. of it where you can say, you know, you can go off on the person. Right. So the, 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 the so let me back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's why you need a coach. Yeah. That's why you need a counselor or a mentor, somebody in your life that can can see it from a distance. Mm -hmm. They can see it from from a from from afar off. Yeah. They like you said, they see the big picture. They mm -hmm. see it from a higher level. Mm -hmm. 
Now, once those people identify that in your life, you or I have got to be willing to acknowledge that right. and then do the work to change right. that. Right. I think, um, you know, I just thought about, you know, I had a person um, who I see her as a mentor in my life um, right now in, you know, what I do for work is actually, you know, my boss. But she said to me once that, you know, I was very rigid and I was like, oh, rigid, mm -hmm. me. Like, it, but when I think about it, I am like, you look like <laughs> that, like, yeah, you are very rigid, you know, very, you know, uh, methodical, you know, don't really bend, you know, a whole lot to different things. And I carry that. I, when I started paying attention to that, I realized that it may not show here. It may not come out in my voice, my body language, but I feel it in my neck, my shoulders, the, the tension of that. And so her saying that to me initially, I had to process it and not be offended because I knew she was not trying to be a, to offend. We were having a conversation and she's actually being helpful. Speak one of those times of speaking into my life. And I had to process it and do some self-assessing and say, you know what, if you could just relax a little here or there, think outside of the box on some things, then you, you know, that stress that you're carrying, the tension that you're carrying mm -hmm. is going to go way down. And so that's an instance where I have a coach in that area of my life and her speaking into me, it kind of rubbed the wrong way mm -hmm. but I said you know what I know that that's for my benefit so I have to take it and process it and so okay Lord well how can I work on me in this particular area and that's what a coach does even for you as couples where they can see some things and you don't want a coach that is they just agree with you for the sake of agreeing with you. And everything that you do is beautiful and wonderful. That you need people in your life that can speak to you, be honest with you, be straightforward with you, and you receive what they say, not in a way to be offended, but to make the changes necessary. Yeah, I, that kind of brings me, I, there's a couple of scriptures I want to share today, but mm -hmm. this one here, Ephesians 4 and 15 in the international, the, the NIV, it says, instead... Uh, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect mm -hmm. the mature body of him of uh, who is the head that is Christ. So, you know, the, the truth, you know, there's even scripture. I think it's uh, what is it? John 8, uh, Luke 8. The truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, you know, we don't want to hear the truth. Right. You know, um, we, we don't, a lot of times we don't want to hear the, the things that we need to work on, mm -hmm. that we need to fix. But like Tanya was saying, you know, in order for you to grow and in, in order for you to, to have the, you know, to reach the quote unquote relationship goals, mm -hmm. you know, you know, a relationship can only be as strong as the people in it. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. so you've got to be willing to allow people that. And that's why I, I'm, I'm stressing, you know. We we do all these 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 programs and these these classes and mm -hmm. you know counseling and you know the word counsel or when you think of counseling it has such a lot of times it has such a negative connotation yeah. or you think that you know you have to have something quote unquote wrong, wrong with, you. Yeah. with you to go to a counselor or to mm -hmm. see a coach or but it, it's not that at all it's mm -hmm. just that you know like uh, w when it comes to this kind of work we I always say it's maintenance yeah just like you would maintain anything else you know your relationships your 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 marriage and all that stuff needs maintenance mm -hmm. and a lot of times we are so it's really a pride thing it's, yes, we're, absolutely. We're, it's a pride thing and we don't want we don't want to go to a place or or be involved in anything that's going to highlight and mm -hmm. show us where we're where our weak points are. Right. You know, um, there's a there's a class and we actually we teach the class now. It's called Married for Life. Mm -hmm. uh, Shout out to Married <laughs> for Life. Uh, but I I can remember when when that first that class was first presented to us. And I told Tanya, I was like, oh, we don't need to go to that. I mean, you know, we got a we got a good marriage. We're good, we're we good. good, you know. And she's like, Yeah, yeah, we're good. And so, it, I mean, I think it came up maybe two or three mm -hmm. times. And when I was like, ah, we don't need that. Mm -hmm. So finally, um, she said, I, can't, I think she said, either we, I can't remember. But we took the class. 
I, and one, go ahead. No, I was just saying I because I felt impressed that I felt that we could benefit from it. Not saying that anything was wrong with our marriage, but we would benefit from it. It's like right. why not take it? it why not take it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I remember one of the first questions that they asked us uh, and our instructors was uh, was uh, Pat uh, Alvin and Pat Guillory. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one of the first questions they asked us was, you know, on a scale, I think it was one to five. I can't remember what it was. Scale one to five, rate your marriage. So I think I'd say four because I'm like, you know, we're good, but you could always use some improvement. So I said four. Well, there's an argument as to what Tanya's number was, what she said it was and what I say it was. Uh, so I, I don't know what you said the number was, but I do know. That her number. I'm not gonna even say I, what I, I said, said. My number was. I said her number was a two. I said three. I think it was a two. We have to go back and look in our first book. Because the number was shocking to me. I was like, oh, yeah, I touched my <laughs> pearls, you know. Oh my she didn't have pearls. <laughs> she wants to leave me, you know. <laughs> I suck as a husband. <laughs> no, it wasn't about you. Though. I know, but it was about again, the marriage again. Yeah. That's the way, and that was my greatest fear right. was to find out. Okay, you right. really, and I think I've said this a couple of episodes ago. You really not all that, bro. You really not where you, <laughs> you think are you all are. That. You're all that. I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, you know. What I, I mean. know. I, I, obviously, I wasn't if you gave me a two. <laughs> <laughs> it was the marriage. Anyway, not just you. My point is, we had some let work me to look. Do. Let me read my notes. I'm getting all. We had some here. work to do. So, um, (laughs) so yeah, but my point is, is like that class allowed me to see some blind spots. Mm -hmm. It allowed, it showed me some areas. It, 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 and it's not, again, it's it's nothing worse than getting ready to, to merge over and you hear that horn, Mm -hmm. you know, and it's the same way in your marriage. It's Mm -hmm. nothing worse than to, you know, make that statement or do whatever and you, 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 your wife go rake, rakes up against that or your spouse rake. You got what I'm saying? Right, right. I was going to say, you know, and thinking back to that moment when we were um, taking that first, that was the first Married for Life class, mm-hmm. um, the very first session, and we did the rating, it was because there were some things that I desired within the marriage, some things that I wanted us to do as a couple, some things that I felt needed to change with, I think just kind of our day to day of how we did things. And, you know, um, and I think I had voiced some of those things and they never really did change or asked for some of those things and they never really did change. And so when we get in the class and we're rating it, I'm thinking about those areas that I feel like, okay, we need to work on these things, you know, because what it was, I had some needs that I didn't feel were being met. Can you give an example? Um, I think one of my big things was just wanting more um, time praying together, you know, spending Mm -hmm. more time doing that as a family. Um, And I can't really think of anything else right now um feeling like sometimes you put other things and other people ahead of us the Mm -hmm. family you know um Mm -hmm. spending a lot of time away from home for extra things you know Mm -hmm. what i mean so um i think we were going through that whole process and that that may be why i rated it so low um and i yeah right fix it because you did rate it low (laughs) no i'm just playing i'm just joking (laughs) And I felt like I had communicated those things to you and they hadn't changed. But Mm -hmm. what I'm realizing now is I communicated it, but I didn't do it directly. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? I didn't say exactly what I needed. Mm -hmm. I've learned today and I'm still learning today, whether it's with you or other people, I have to say what I need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because for you, that was a blind spot for me there was a spotlight on it. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And so when we don't communicate exactly what it is that we need and we feel like we're being selfish or we're being whatever because we're communicating what we need, then all of the things remain in the dark. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah and, and I and I would agree. I would agree with that. Um, but I guess, you know, the point in all of this is saying, you know, it's I'll nothing wrong. Off, like, off no, 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 <laughs> no. I, I, like, I do it too. But my point is, it's, it's not. It's nothing wrong. We we always have. Again, we have this this negative connotation when mm-hmm. it comes to getting help mm-hmm. or talking. You know about you know our, our feelings. You know, I was talking with my. Um, uh, so in this certification I'm doing, we have to do coaching with each other. And I mm-hmm. was talking with my coach um, yesterday or day before. Yeah, it was yesterday. And we were just both talking about how much, how therapeutic it is just to talk. E- even if no, if, even if nobody gives you advice, just to talk about, yep. here's how this made me feel. Yep. And here's what I was going through. And to say all the things that you needed to say, but couldn't say. It, mm-hmm. it's so, so I it's guess. It's called I, talk therapy. Yeah. Called yeah. Talk therapy. So, so I guess our point in all of this is saying. Is, is you can't fix what you can't see, what you're not aware of. Mm-hmm. So even with with the thing with Tanya, when she felt as though I was putting, and, and here's the, here's the crazy part about that. Mm-hmm. So listen, she felt as though I was putting other things before her and the girls. I felt like I was putting them first by working hard and trying to build things Mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. So in both of our minds, Mm -hmm. we're both doing, I'm doing this for her. Mm -hmm. And she said, I don't want all that. I want you. Right. All that is no fun without you here. (laughs) Exactly. So, so again, and, and so it's not to say that I was just neglecting them. Right. In my mind, I'm doing this for them, right? You know, mm-hmm. and and even with that, I guess there is some some deception in that too. Because some of it, I mean, I was doing it for me too because mm-hmm. I wanted that to be successful or whatever. Mm-hmm. But my point is, is that when we when we finally figured, when I finally figured out what she really wanted, mm-hmm. then I could address that. But all that came about by by having someone in our lives mm-hmm. who could speak to us. Um, and, 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 and peel back the layers and let us really see what was going mm-hmm. on. Help us to dig deeper and, and get past just the surface stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and what's the root of what's going on? Mm-hmm. And I think that because we are now so open to it that uh, these last few years have been so much better. Mm-hmm. Um, has, we've both grown in so, mm-hmm. many mo- in so many areas. Our marriage is better. Yeah. I think our relationship with our kids is better. Mm-hmm. It's it's better across the board right. because we we have people in our lives that you know, and, and a lot of people say, well, you know, um, you know, I, I uh, such and such is my is my mentor. Okay, do you talk to right. such and such? Right. The, the, so in other words, T D Jakes cannot be your mentor right. because unless it's <laughs> number uh, saving uh, your phone and yours and his exactly, <laughs> he is exactly. probably not your mentor. So you you need somebody. Yeah. Who, tangibly in your life mm-hmm. that can help you and and that can be a mentor or you know if you need to go to a counselor or like I said Absolutely. hire a life coach or mm-hmm. whatever that looks like for you, you you need to have that person and I think people's uh perspective on getting counseling or getting coaching it's like I don't need nobody to tell me what to do again we're not saying that you need someone to tell you what to do what we're saying is how about get a fresh and a different perspective? Yeah. How about give someone that you trust to give them permission to speak into your life? Um, oftentimes those people should be people who are possibly where you want to be, you know, where you are trying to grow to. Um, and those people can help you can share with you some things, some insights that will help you get to where you are trying to go. Yeah. No one's path looks exactly the same. However, we all can use a, a hand along the way. You and, know? and, you know, one of the, the lessons that I've learned is, you know, a lot of times when we do have issues in our marriages or in our relationships, the tendency is always to look out. Mm-hmm. It's it's because they're doing such and such, such and such. Right. Mm-hmm. But I, I remember, you know, I have one of my mentors, you know, he would always ask me, well, what's your part in that? Right. You know, Absolutely. if 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 Tanya's acting that way. 
what's your part in it? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what do you mean, what's my part? You know, right. I told you well, she's, she she's the one who's doing right. A, B, and C. Right. But again, there's I have to always be willing to look what's what's yeah. my look part. Look inward. Yeah. What's my part in that? And a coach will help you do that. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, with my kids, you know, I always thought that because I am the parent, you know, I am the ultimate authority, which I am. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I am in mm-hmm. in this house. But my point is, is I can't I can't make them do nope. anything, and I can't force them to do anything. Um, no matter what I do, mm-hmm. um, and, and so I'm, I'm learning to to value. In other words, I used to think that what I say goes, mm-hmm. but I'm learning to value and teaching them to value their own opinion. Yeah. And, and so, in other words, that all I'm saying is all these things that I'm coming into, all this growth, it's not happening in a vacuum. No. There are people in my life that are helping me to discover and peel back the layers. Right. Um, and that's why it's so important. I believe that every, I think every couple, mm-hmm. every married couple, there should be another married couple right. that you consider either, like I said, your coach, your mentor, mm-hmm. or, or whatever. And you know, you should do things. You should go to. You know, now I'm all about. You know, just uh, we're right now we're mm-hmm. in the middle of doing a home group mm-hmm. um, with uh, the, the Naked Marriage, uh, Dave mm-hmm. and Ashley Willis. Mm-hmm. Um, we're, every Thursday night, we're we're on their live. Mm-hmm. You know, because again, I want to get the information that can help me grow. Yeah. You know, I got my XO shirt on. Mm-hmm. You know, Tanya and I we're we're, we're huge proponents of XO mm-hmm. um, and Marriage Today. Um, so we're doing the things, we're, we're, we're allowing, we're, we're getting the tools that we need. We're allowing people to come in and to, to help us, uh, to, to coach us, to, mm-hmm. to, to be there to help us grow. And I think every, like I said, every couple should have that. Should every have marriage couple. should have, every marriage should have, a, every couple should have a couple. That's right. Yeah. 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 Um, and people of maturity, you know, yeah. people who... Um, and I don't want to get ahead because I did see your note. No, no, no. That, that, you're, you're, you're right on it. You're uh, right people on of it. maturity, people who you know that they love God, they love you, they love your spouse. You know, you want people who are not going to, like I said earlier, just take your side for the sake of taking your side, but they can tell you when you're wrong. You mm-hmm. know, you want those people that love you enough. That is what, you know, love does. Love will, will reveal to us, you know, the things that we need to fix because love loves us, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so the people that you're open to receiving from, you know, um, and if sometimes what they say you know, it rubs you the wrong way. Maybe you need to check in you and figure out why is that rubbing me the wrong way? Mm -hmm. You know, do I have an issue taking instructions from other people? You know, especially when you've chosen people that you know are not going to harm you, you know? So as I said, people that, that love God, they love you, they love your spouse and they are for your marriage. Yeah. You know, those are the people that you want to choose to, pour into you and to pour um, into your spouse and help to build your marriage and, and keep it healthy and happy. Yeah. 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 So yeah, those are the, the four, I'll say those again. And that's, we got that, that's from Dave and Ashley's yeah. uh, book, The Naked Marriage. Mm-hmm. It's a book, recommend that. Um, but it's those four things. Number one, if, if, if someone, and especially, especially if these are not professional counselors, Correct. Um, you know, we're not saying that you have to go and see a professional counselor mm-hmm. or, you know, a certified life coach. That's, but if you could just have someone, mm-hmm. uh, another couple in your mm-hmm. life uh, that, that, that are, that's having success in their marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, but that those four requirements you need to keep in mind. Number mm-hmm. one, that they love God. Yeah. Number two, that they love you. Mm-hmm. And I, really, I think is an important one is they love your spouse. Right. So in other words, you don't want to go see your auntie right. who said that you shouldn't have married him anyway. <laughs> that is not the person you want no, to go to. <laughs> no. And even like your parents, having those conversations like with your parents, because most of the time they're going to have their own bias and they're going to choose your side, you yeah. know, or when you guys work things out and you're, you're fine again, they still, you know, have something against your spouse because of the conversations that you had with them about your marriage. And yeah. so, um, 
it's not very often uh, that people, that those people can be your mom, your dad. You know, these need to be people that can be objective. And I mean, it doesn't mean it can't be, but right. you want to make sure that they can be objective. Um, but so those again are they love they love God they love you they love your spouse mm -hmm. and they are for your marriage in other mm -hmm. words they want to see your marriage be a success mm -hmm. so uh, I'll share one more scripture um, and this just kind of going with the theme of you know um, you, you need you, everybody needs a coach everybody needs everybody needs uh, a coach a, a mentor um, all a of counselor that. A count all of that whatever you want to yes. call that person in your life. Everybody needs one, mm -hmm. um, in, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. I agree with your opinion. <laughs> uh, so this is James 5, 16. It says, therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous person is powerful and effective. Mm -hmm. So I just like that part where it talks about confessing to one another. So that right. I see that as part of, that's part of that mm -hmm. process of, of just being able to open up to somebody mm -hmm. um, and, and share uh, and, and allow them to help you um, process. And, you know, it, it could be, you know, there may be some things right now that you're dealing with in your mm -hmm. relationship that you don't know how to tell your right. spouse. You know, it, it, and perfect example is like, there's some things that Tanya uh, was struggling with, mm -hmm. for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. And maybe she couldn't tell me the way she needed to. Mm -hmm. But then when we went to Married for Life, it gave us the language. Mm -hmm. It gave us the... Uh, the um template yeah to be able to talk to each other in a way that we could both understand and right. grow right um and um you know uh, one of the things one of the greatest lessons i learned out of coming out of married for life mm -hmm. is the lesson on agreement yeah because yeah. you know um i i always and i don't know i don't want to say this because it sounds so so chauvinistic but it's like i i was <laughs> I was like, I was in the mind, I'm the man, I make the decisions, I, you know, whatever I say was what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I, <laughs> I used to always jokingly say, you know, in the Bible, every time uh, a, a man listened to his wife, they, they wound up in trouble. You know, Adam and Eve fall. You know, Abraham and Sarah, mm -hmm. Ishmael. Mm -hmm. You know, so that was always my joke. Mm -hmm. But that but, that is not. Um, right. I'm, we that's a talk joke. About all the all the male that's, mistakes. That's a joke. Course. It's a joke. <laughs> but anyway, going to married for life, going to that class, being vulnerable, opening yeah. up ourselves to um, our coaches. Being coach, yeah. Our coaches, uh, Alvin and Pat Guillory. They allowed us to see some things and, and unveil some things. And, and I learned what true agreement was yes. in marriage. Mm -hmm. And it, it's not about being a dictator. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about, you know, I'm, you know, I'm the man or whatever, whatever. Uh, um, it, it's about us coming into agreement mm -hmm. with the will of God for our lives. And that's true agreement. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that was just an example. But my point in all of this is you can't fix what you can't see. That's in other right. words, if you don't even know that you don't, you don't even know that that's your blind spot. Mm -hmm. You don't even know. And that's a dangerous, that's a dangerous, you're waiting. There's an accident waiting, waiting to happen, happen. Yep. when you don't address your, your blind spots. And if you don't know your blind spots, that's even, even uh, worse. Yep. You have to know when you need to adjust your mirrors. Yeah. 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 So you got anything else to share with the people? No, I think that that was a great, great uh, topic and conversation. Yeah. Just, you know, learn, figure out when you need to adjust your mirrors. And sometimes the only way you know that is to have someone else looking from the outside in. Yeah. And here's the other thing I'll say. One more thing is a lot of people, they wait until the mm -hmm. accident to mm -hmm. go for help. Right. It will be a lot better for you, like Tanya said, to go get the help, get mm -hmm. some, find somebody to help you. Mm -hmm. And then you can say, oh man, I do need to adjust my right. mirror. So now, oh, there's a car right there. Let right. me not pull over. Mm -hmm. this, that's the same way in life. You know, um, it's not about, you know, if, 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 you know, a lot of people say the best way to learn is to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's not no. true. No. If, if I can have somebody who made the mistake, mm -hmm. Teach me how not to make the mistake. Right. To me, that's better because Absolutely. now I don't have to suffer through all the consequences. All the consequences, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So get a coach. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> get yourself a coach. Get yourself yeah. a mentor. Yeah. You know, and, and now what I found is um, whenever you do the work and you experience growth, other people see the growth. And now, now that we're growing, we have other people now saying, hey, could you guys mentor us right. in marriage? Can can we meet with y'all and yeah. just talk about, you know, so, and that's part of the reason why this, we're doing this podcast yeah. now is because it came out of a need of, you know, why don't we just do a podcast or why don't we start this thing to just help couples? Some conversation. Right. Yeah. And so, so anyway, I know I'm rambling now, but we just want to encourage you, you know, you can't fix what you cannot see. see. Absolutely. Right? You need people in your lives that can help you reveal those blind spots. Mm-hmm. Once you identify those blind spots, don't be in denial. You know, yep. like they say, the denial is not just a river in uh, <laughs> in Africa, right? Don't don't own up to it. Yep. How own can I grow? Stuff. How can I change? What can I do to grow? Yep. How can I get better? And when you do that, I'm telling you, your relationships will go to another, another level. level on every area. Yep. Because when I started fixing the things about me, not only did my relationship with myself get better, my relationship with my wife got better, mm-hmm. my relationship with my kids got better, I became a better employee. Mm-hmm. And it's like across the board, things just began to change in yep. my life when I began to work on me. So that's our encouragement to you. You can't fix what you can't see. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> You can't fix what you cannot see. Oh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> this is Glenn and Tanya Coleman saying your, your marriage, marriage matters. matters. So we'll see you next week. Bye.